is Gemini 2.5 Deep Think Overhype. It won the International Mathematical Olympiad and is now state of the art on Life Code Bench and Humanities Last Exam. Two very known difficult benchmarks, beating both Grok4 and O3. But is it worth your time? Let's break it down. Deep Think uses parallel streams to explore various hypotheses at the same time. It's not just a prompt or clever engineering, but the model has been retrained through an additional reinforcement learning step to learn to process multiple hypotheses at the same time and better understand how to leverage all the answers and conclude with the best possible answer. So it's not just a new prompt, it's a new model in itself. In short, it's quite cool and the results must be better, but it's also not exceptional. It's a clear logical next step to parallelize the processing and in short, it just uses more compute to get to a better result. It's always been that way and we are still continuing forward with this trend. I think it's a bit overhyped, especially because the usability and the cost will be quite high. Right now, only Google AI Ultra users have access to it, with this tier being at a few hundred dollars per month. So is it worth using? Well, it's only worth for you if you manage to make it worth $200 more than the Gemini 2.5 thinking or the O3 models out there, which I doubt most will do. In the meantime, you can just ask multiple times the same questions to O3 or iterate by chatting with it. With yourself in the loop, I believe you'll end with a pretty similar or better result with a tenth of the price. Let me know if you try deep think and if it makes a big difference for you. I'm Louis-Francois, co-founder and CTO of Towards AI and follow me for tomorrow's No BS Roundup.